jump right into things. Um, like I said, we have a special guest today, uh, Shauna and Ray Bruce. Um, he's really just going to talk about what they've been doing lately. A lot of people have been asking me questions, what kind of leads that they're running, um, what, what are they doing inside the field to write so much premium. Um, and I figured there's no better way than to let them tell you. Because, um, I mean, my, my words only go so far, you might as well hear from the horse's mouth uh, what they're actually doing and what's really working for them. And um and once again, I just want to say thank you to both of them. Um, like you said, uh, unfortunately, Ray's uh, mother passed away yesterday. So um, very gracious they're still taking the time to to, to do this. They, they um, I gave them the options to not even hop on, but they still to do it um, and help you guys out. So uh, if you guys could, if you uh, who's the nine one nine phone number? That's that's me. Do I need oh, to mute? Yeah, if you could, Connie. Please, thank you. Oh, yeah, everyone, you're mute out welcome. On, yeah, mute out on your own end. I'll leave the lines unmuted uh, in case you guys have questions. But this, this way, it should be more than a no more than twenty or twenty five minute call today. I'm gonna keep things short because uh, I know that they're very busy and uh, we have to get some things taken care of. But uh, without further ado, I'm gonna pass over to Sean and Ray. And um, once again, thank you guys for hopping on and doing this for us. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. How you good doing? I hope everybody's doing good this morning. Um, yes, Ray's mother did pass away yesterday, and we were fortunate to be there with her at her bedside yesterday. So um, it's just been a really crazy evening uh, yesterday, and then this morning it's just been kind of crazy. As we all know, losing somebody is really hard and difficult. So um, thank you for all the prayers and everything that has um, poured out to us since yesterday in regard of his mother passing. We really do appreciate it. Um, I didn't go on there and post anything letting you guys know that, but we really do appreciate all the prayers and everything that's been sent our way. Um, so first of all, I just want to say thank you, Marcus, for letting me, you know, get on the call. Um, I wasn't expecting it. It did kind of surprise me because I'm really just a nobody. I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to make a living. And um, to be perfectly honest with you, um, I, I have a testimony and the reason why I got into this business and um, I've been doing it now for four years. And the first two years to me were very, very unsuccessful. Um, I just was not motivated. I didn't have a person like I do, Marcus, to help me to go forward and to show me the process of how it was done. And so the first, um, I really have only been with Innovative now going on two years. And absolutely, it's been a dream for me to be able to go with Innovative and to um, just to meet so many good people, good hearted people and good Christian people. And um, so you know, uh, four years ago, um, I lost my father very, very suddenly. My father was 58. And um, some of y'all may know the story, but um, I ended up losing my dad. Like I said, he went in for AFib, and 12 hours later, he was diagnosed with cancer, stage four cancer. And um, you can imagine the shock on my face whenever the doctors walked in and told me that my dad was had stage four cancer and that it just was not was not good. And so, with that being said, um, going forward, um, you know, my mother had never, ever owned a debit card. And I know y'all probably are thinking, wow, that's crazy. But my dad treated my mother like a queen. I mean, the, the lady never needed or wanted for anything. And they lived on the lake. They had a gorgeous home on the lake. And then they also had a home where I live based out of North Carolina. And so, you know, they were living the luxurious lifestyle, I will tell you that. And um, suddenly when my father passed away, my mother called me um, that day and said that my father had let every bit of his insurance go. And she didn't understand why or what had happened. And so speaking to, you know, to people and to the doctors and to the oncologists, we soon found out that my father had apparently this had went to his brain. And we both know that whenever it goes to your brain that you're not in your right state of mind, you just, I mean, my, my mother did not pay the bills. My father did. So it was a huge, huge, huge transition for me because I saw my mother go from riches to rags overnight. And um, so, you know, it's been four years now and I'm still helping take care of my mother um, who is now 60 years of age. And she is, her health is not in the best shape, but she has definitely seen what it's like to live on the other side of 
you know, basically having everything at her fingertips. So I prayed about it. Um, I was a cosmetologist for 22 years and had never worked for anybody. I'd always had my own big salon. And um, I just prayed about it and said, you know, Lord, I don't know that this is where I really need to be because um, I want to help people. I've seen what the devastation has been like in my own family. And so, um, I, like I said, prayed about it, talked to my husband about it, and decided to move forward with it. So I went and got my license. And like I said, the first two years was very chaotic and very hectic for me. Um, and, huh. Yeah, I failed the, the test 12 times. My husband makes fun of me, but I will tell y'all that that is what's made me continue to go forward. And yes, y'all can laugh because I laugh too. Um, so um, anyway, I ended up going to get my license and just really wanting to go forward. So the, like I said, the first two years was very hectic for me. Um, didn't have anybody that would teach me like I do Marcus. And poor thing, I absolutely love him and Ashley to death. They have been so good to me and my husband and I just can't say enough without them actually I told him I want to miss my neighbors and that I think they would even probably run farther away from me if they could um but with that being said um the last two years I ended up you know going on with innovative my girlfriend who is a very good friend of mine who works at um home office who is Trisha Miles um she called me up one day and um I had actually tried to recruit her with, with my old company and so, therefore, she called me and recruited me with Innovative. And she said, Sean, I have, you know, something I want you to look at and get, kind of, you know, come on board with us. So, I went and uh, Adam actually uh, drove down to Charlotte and I met with him, Charlotte, North Carolina, and um, met us at, at the restaurant that night. And I just knew in my heart that was where I needed to be. And so, went forward and went on board and um, worked, you know, with Adam for quite a while, a little bit, it's, you know, and off and on. I know he's a very, very busy man. And then, you know, was with Marcus. And so Marcus helped me really get to the point to where I needed to know what I needed to do, how I needed to do it, and which direction to go in. So I tried every, I tried several, several lead companies. Um, and, you know, to me personally, Facebook um, leads are not good for me, just for my area. But I will say that, you know, I've heard really good things about those. But what really um, helps me is the One Life um, leads. I have a great success with those. And um, I try to get at least at least about 11 of those a week. Um, you know, last week was a very slow week. I only got five of those. But I closed four out of five. And so, you know, my key to success is that when I meet these clients, um, first of all, you have to be real with people. And you cannot put on a persona of somebody that you're not. Because people can read right through you. And I've noticed that if you're very... Um, very transparent with people and you tell people, you know, um, just how this can affect their family and I always give my testimony to these people. And um, so I've learned that talking to these people and getting everything done while I'm there and, um, you know, trying my best not to have to go back and to hound them about this or that, but getting everything closed, you know, yeah, I've learned once you're, once you're out, you're, you're not getting back in their home. Um, some of them just don't, they just don't let you. Um, so, but I will tell you, you know, when I was telling Marcus the other day, I've been very thankful. I don't want to jinx myself. I'm knocking on with some wood right now, but um, of all the clients that I've wrote, I've, I just had my first comeback, like my first, um, uh, you know, cancellation. And I try to build a very good rapport with all my clients. I try to check on them. Um, I will call them and just, you know, mingle and talk to them. I will text and say, hey, hope, hope you know, thank you for everything. I greatly appreciate it. Because I really sincerely mean it from my heart. Um, you know, or, or they'll ask me, you know, to pray for somebody in their family. And I will call it up and, you know, and I'll talk to them. I'll say, we, I pray with families before we leave. Um, we just, I have a, this is my ministry. So this is what I do. And I'm not ashamed of it because I know that God has blessed me abundantly. And, um, you know, my goal is to eventually, you know, just really and truly to, to spread the word and to help people, you know, go forward with what they're needed. So, um, because some people are completely lost with this stuff. They have no idea what they're doing or how they're doing it or anything. And so, um, with that being said, my husband come on board with me in January, 
and he was a, um, a service and uh, parts director at a Chevy dealership. He had worked for the automotive company for 15 plus years and walked away from a 100,000 plus job, K job um, back in November. Had demo, credit card, had everything he wanted, but just was not happy. And so, you know, he approached me in November and I, my mouth dropped because I was like, oh, Lord, you know, how are we going to afford this? And how are we going to afford that? But I'm going to tell you, I've never went a day without anything. So he's come on board with me in January and now we work together and I tell everybody that he's really my Uber driver. <laughs> um, he does all my work for me and um, we just have a really good connection. We work really good together and we make it work. And my advice to you guys are to, you know, um, be transparent as you can to these people, um, to not be afraid to, if, you know, somebody asks you a question, to be able to answer it honestly um, and to do the right thing. And I think once you do the right thing, that God will abundantly bless you. And he has me and my family. And I, I think Mark has come out to this. I think year to date, I might be close to about 80,000. Um, this will be the first year this has ever happened for me. And I'm beyond ecstatic and very thankful and can't say enough about uh, Innovative. So that is my testimony and that's kind of what I do. Um, and as far as calling these clients, I have no waiting time. I know a lot of people have certain days that they dial and I don't do that. I call them as soon as I get the, um, the lead in it doesn't matter if I'm in a restaurant. I literally will walk outside and call these people. Um, I just have a, a motto once it comes in to call them within five or ten minutes. I mean, you don't let that lead go by because where I'm at, I, I have a guy from another company, and he is on my tail end every single time. And um, it's in AA. And so I just kind of outsmart him, and I get there first. And, um, you know, and I've even replaced some of his. So, yeah, that's kind of how it is. And, um, but, yes, so thank you, Marcus. If you have any questions, you can ask me and kind of go from there. No, wonderful, wonderful. I appreciate the testimony. And uh, thank you for the kind words about me and Ashley. We definitely appreciate it. And I'm sure if you told her that you want to be neighbors, uh, she would drop this house and move on to North Carolina <laughs> without thinking twice. So um, I definitely don't doubt that. Um, I know you mentioned the, um, you said you're probably right about like you said seventy five to eighty thousand year year to date. Um, the previous two years when you first started, what was the most you wrote in a single year? Forty five, I think. Last year. Last year I wrote forty five. Whole year. The whole year. Before that it was nine thousand. Before gotcha. that it was nine thousand. Gotcha. And then we hit that what? Was it March, I think? End of March, start of April? You've coasted past that point? <laughs> Yes, yes. It was like the first week of March whenever I passed that. So, yes. Okay. So, I mean, were you doing anything different or was just, were you just ordering leads on a more consistent basis? I mean, what was... I am. I, well, like? I keep my leads on a, I keep them on, you know, on file to where those are sent to me directly. Um, just because, you know, I know that if you can get a lead flow going and you get those continuously coming in, then you're not, that's one thing I've learned too is in the past and I've done everything. I mean, I, you know, let's face it. I've drove everybody in innovative. I think crazy when I first started because I was like, no, no leads are coming in and I want it this way. I want it that way. And poor Rusty at one life. I mean, you know, and I just felt really bad for everybody that was pounding. So now I've kind of got it down consistently where, you know, I know to keep those on file where they just consistently come in and um, try to, I try to get at least, 10, you know, a week at least, you know, sometimes I've had 15 come in a week, but my goal is, you know, once those come in, I just, I'm Johnny on the spot and I call them right then and there. So I don't leave any time wasted for me to get a hold of these clients. And then you run your territory. Um, explain that. Do you run inside your backyard? Do you travel some? No, I travel and I'm like, um, I'm almost two hours away from my territory. So, yeah, I'm from where I live, I run my territory about some, well, depending on where it's at, it can be anywhere from an hour up to two hours. And um, I've just noticed that that's best for me because um, me personally, I just prefer not to do business in my own, in my own backyard um, because I'm born and raised where I'm at. And um you know, I just feel like sometimes whenever you go and you meet new people and you have a fresh face in front of you, um, that they're, they're tend to more, 
the more apps to buy from you. Um, and so I, I chose personally to go to travel and that's just me. Yeah. So a lot of people do prefer to, like I said, be outside their comfort zone, uh, not inside the backyard where they can just focus solely on work. So for the backstory, I mean, so Shauna lives in, um, near Charlotte, about 20 minutes outside of Charlotte, but she works a territory in Columbia, South Carolina, which is about an hour and a half to maybe two hours away, but we have it set up to where we basically combine about three to four different counties just to, just to produce the lead vibe she's trying to strive for. And um, like that's, it's been working wonders. Like, so we got that situated come about January or so. And then, like I said, just the numbers speak for them, for themselves, um, how well it's actually working. Um, is there anything you do special inside the house? I mean, say so you, you pray with the clients before, before you leave, but anything else inside the house that you do, I mean, in terms of, I mean, the process, I mean, you do anything different, you think, or you kind of just follow the, the, the whole process we have laid out for you? And uh, it makes sense. Well, you know, Marcus, I always give people um, options, and I know that you know I've, I've heard I've heard some agents say, you know, well, this is how it is, and this I'm is how down, this is what I write, and this is all they're going to get. And I understand that, but um, I also have to understand that sometimes people like options. I like options, so I'm not going to shove one company down a throat. I do have, you know. I will tell you that I write with Forsters. I write a lot with Casey Life. Um, yeah, and I always give the illustration of renting versus buying. You know, do you want to rent this policy or do you want to buy this policy? Um, you know, ROP, I really hit those really hard with my younger girls and guys. Um, so that's a big thing, you know, because I always say, you know, if I have a 22-year-old and I write a Casey Life ROP, I'm like, listen, in 30 years, Lord, Imagine what you could do with that $24,000 It's coming back to you that's tax free. You could buy a new car. You might have grandchildren then. You know, so I always give people options. But, um, you know, Ray and I were talking about this the other night. You know, I have just, you know, have the very few that I really like their companies. You know, when you, I think, you know, too, I mean, Liberty. I love Liberty for my whole life. And I am. The term is simple and the golden solutions. And um, Forrester's. Um, Let's see here. Uh, Royal Neighbors. Um, there's there's just several that I just, you know, I have a um, an instant connection with that I write with these companies. And those are the companies that I tend to go to. Um, so, yeah, so that that's about it. And I don't really do anything else special. I just, you know, like I said, I mean, we do bond with them when we're in there. A lot of people say, well, get in and get right back out. But I feel like when somebody buys something from you and they're going to spend a pretty good bit of money and with me doing mortgage protection, they want to know who their agent is. And they want to know, you know, they I mean, they either, you know, they need to trust me. And so I always give them, you know, we went to the last house and they had a little girl and the little girl was like jumping all over my husband. And, you know, we had a great connection with them. They really, really, really just, um, you know, they, they talk to us about their jobs and what they do. And, you know, so we have, a, we have a connection with them. We always, you know, show them pictures of our children and say, these are our kids, you know, and, um, so, you know, we, we kind of give a little bit of a, of a testimony when we're there. That's just all we do. Perfect, perfect. No, thank you again for sharing. That's that's wonderful. Like I said, just wanted to get you on the call. Just like I said, I know it's, I'm going to keep it short and sweet for you. Um, you guys have other things to get taken care of. But um, just like I said, it's just a testimony to, like I said, Sean's hard work and Ray's de dedication. And um, like I said, making a great team is what always works. Uh, what I'm going to do real quick is open up for any questions. Uh, I know I muted a couple people out. Um, any questions you guys have, you go ahead and unmute yourselves and ask uh, Sean and Ray. No, but great testimony testimony that you have there is is really very inspirational. Thank you. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, my my advice to you guys is just really push through the the hard times, and you know, even if you walk out of a house and they tell you no, and I've had to learn this for myself that you will find real clients. You don't want people that are going to do business with you and cancel on you. Um, you want people who are going to, you know, um, who you have a relationship yeah. with that's going to also stick with you. I mean, I, I build a relationship with all my clients. I mean, they text me. So, I mean, they're like, hey, how are you? I mean, you know, so I, I do. I build a relationship with these people. I mean, I don't go and hang out with them and cook with them, but 
you know, they know they can call me if they need to, can't, you know, if they not cancel, but they need to, you know, move something or move their draft date if I've had to do that before or, you know, they just something, anything small, just build a rapport with these people. That's, it'd be real, and that's all I can tell you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this is a relationship business. I mean, um, that's what we are in the business to do is create new relationships and basically leave families better than what we found them. Um, but once again, thank you guys. And um, like, so we are going to send prayers your guys' way still. Um, so we're sorry for your loss, Ray, and sending prayers and condolences to you and your guys' family. But uh, once again, thank you guys for taking the time out to hop on this uh, morning. And uh, everyone else that joined, thank you. And uh, we will resume next week. I